Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at shading with your airbrush. Right guys, we're going to be looking at some shading. Now, practicing shading, simple little task to do for practicing shading. Get yourself a roll of masking tape, hold it up to your paper, draw the circle out on the inside, like that. And now, as you can see, I've got little arrows. We've got an arrow pointing that way, we've got an arrow that way, arrow down and an arrow up. Now, shading with your airbrush, a lot of beginners I've seen on when they do their sort of artwork and they're jumping advanced very quick, they tend to go in too heavy, too quick. Now, you can see this on the artwork where they go, say they're using black, they go in too dark, too quick. Now, using your airbrush, I always say, go in as light as possible and build the layers up. You've not got to go heavy too quick go really light and you'll see in this shading demo I'm going to show you here. We're going to do some shading on these circles and where the arrows are, this is where the light source is coming in. So when you look at artwork, you'll see the bright sort of highlights, say in a portrait, you'll always see which side the light source is coming in. On a face, it's either coming down from the top, across from the side, up from the bottom, or the opposite side. So similar to what we've got here, on directions of the light coming in. So you'd aim for your darkest points to the bottom side here and your lighter points to the top. Now this is where the main light would be coming in, it would be bright white and then it would start to fade round if this was a ball. You'd have that faded out and it'd become darker here, near enough sort of a blacky colour but it wouldn't be black, it would be that colour at its, at its darkest tone at the bottom. So I'm just going to show you some little shading techniques just to practice. Practicing shapes on shading is really good as well. So we've got some spheres here. You can do triangles, you can do cubes and just put an arrow, just draw an arrow and think, right, that's my light point. This is going to be my darkest point. We've got to go dark here and work our way up. So we'll go on this one here first. So we've got the light source here and we're going to go dark and shade it up. Now just get your air pressure, we're running 25 psi, have a little practice with your paint just to see if your paint's coming out okay. And we're going to aim to shade up this and have a light point at the top. So you're doing about a hand width away like that, away from your paper, and you're aiming to go in nice and light, so you're putting a little bit of paint down and you are following that shape. And the closer you get to the top, the lighter you will go. Like that. So we've gone a nice pass, and then we've got this light piece here. So then we're just going to go back over. This is what I mean by working in layers and working it up. So you're just going to do another pass over, and sort of go a 50% overlap to get that nice, soft tone. And you can now see the shape coming more and more, more little passes. And I'm just putting minimal paint down. So that's a few passes and we're getting darker. It's going up lighter, lighter, lighter till you get your white left on the paper here. And now we can just start to really bring that dark in, another pass. And you're using the line technique where you're going on and off your trigger so you're getting that nice soft point to point. Just building it up, another layer. And another layer, just working over the paint. And 
So you get that nice transition that goes dark, lighter, 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 and then you get your white. And then to make that look more like it's a, a ball, you can drop a drop shadow underneath. So you'd be lighter here, and it'd be darker here, because this is more in shadow. So you can just run, you're doing your line work. Same again, you're going for that light pass to the front, and then you're darkening the back piece up like that. And that just gives you a look like the ball sitting and you've got a light source, a bit darker at the back. Like that. A little bit darker on that bottom piece there. And that's how you'll get your shading. So go nice and light and just work the layers up. Don't aim to hit that full dark in one pass. Just build the layers up, moving your brush like that, and you'll get that nice transition from darker going up and fading out to the nice light. So we'll do the same on this one. Do this one a little bit quicker. So working your layers, Like that. Then do another layer. Get your a little bit darker at the bottom. Just working that round. Do a drop underneath. A little bit darker in here. And it's putting that minimal paint down and just building the layers up. So that's the next one done. We'll do one from here. So you're going to go dark bottom. So again, nice and soft. Just build the layers up. Going darker to the bottom. A little drop shadow on that one. shaded that way do them this way so the light source is hitting here I won't do a drop shadow on this because it'll be in mid-air but you'll have darker here and your dark will be at the top like that That just gives you an idea of shading and just work the layers. Airbrushing is layering the paint, layering it nice and light and just working the tones instead of going straight in on that and going like this. Too heavy, too quick. Go nice and light and you'll get them real soft transitions, very, very soft transitions when you work lighter. So I hope that's helped on shading. Practice spheres and doing arrows where your light source is, whether it be a box, a three-dimensional box, put a light source in and have a little work and play on how the light had hit it and how you can shade a dark side and lighten a side off. 
do curves, all different shapes, because all the shapes play parts in portraits, your artwork, you will just see shapes. When you start to study your artwork, pictures are made up of shapes and you're learning where your light sources are coming in on pictures will help you. So this will help you out in the long run, guys. But that's a basic look at shading. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can join me in the next one when we are looking at the lighting for your studio. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.